Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning a little, bit about, a little bit about how to do some scripting within Blender. So, uh, this is what we're going to make. It's pretty simple. It's just a cube and a sphere, but we're going to learn a little bit of the basics of scripting and a little bit of how we can get started, because it's kind of hard to just get started into scripting. So, uh, you go ahead and open up a new Blender file. Once you do, we're in Blender 2.8. Go up to the scripting tab, and you can see it all changes, and it looks kind of scary because there's a lot of places where you could probably put in code, and you will be. That's what scripting is. Uh, but it's actually pretty simple. So uh, to get started, I'm just going to delete the cube, and you can see there's some stuff that happens down here. We're going to want to pay attention to this, uh, as we're going to be using this quite often to figure out some of the commands that we're going to be doing. At least early on, this will be very useful. As you get on later, you'll probably remember some of the things and you can just start typing it in. But as of right now, let's go with this. Okay, so first off, if you hit Shift A, and let's add a cube. You can see down here, or added a cube, and then we can see down here, we can see right here, this one, right, this bottom one. It looks like it has B P Y O B S mesh primitive cube add. That's this one. Everything that we do within Blender or within any 3D software or actually any software on a computer, it generates code. It's just on the internals of the computer. It has to have something that tells the computer to do it, and and this is telling it. Uh, so let's just take this. So you can see everything that's blue. That's stuff that we have selected. And the same commands that you use within the normal part of Blender, like A for selecting all and double click and double tap A to deselect, it works within here as well. So if we hit A, it'll deselect. And if we hit A, it'll select. It's actually the older commands for bl like Blender 2.79 and older. So but that's still nice. So to hit A to deselect and then just go ahead and click on the BPY OBS mesh primitive cube add one and just hit control C. Now this over here, this is our script editor. Uh, I'm just gonna hit new so we can start a new one and I'm gonna paste it. Now I'm also gonna delete this cube so we can see what happens and this actually won't work but let's run it so I can show you the errors that would come up and a little bit of like debugging to get it to work. So if you hit run script, it says Python script fail, look in the console for now. You can see Python script fail, look in the console for now. Blender 2.8 doesn't even, I don't know, at least for me, it, there is no console. Like the the terminal thing that always came up behind Blender, it doesn't exist anymore. Or at least in mine, it doesn't. Uh, that's okay. This is the console. So we can actually look right here. Uh, if we were to copy and paste this, or I guess we already had a copy, we could just paste it in here and hit enter, it actually runs. And so we learned that there's something not right over here. And it's actually, it's not necessarily not right, but it's just something we haven't actually implemented yet. And that's because we're using Python over here. I don't know if you're very familiar with Python, but we have to, for us to use the libraries in Python, we have to reference Blender's libraries. So we're using Python's built-in library but we need to import it. Uh, similar to if you know any other languages like C++, you usually do like an include and another library. Or there's a whole bunch of libra there's a whole bunch of languages that do this similar thing. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to enter down and above it, we're just going to type in import. And I'm getting this from right here, the built-in modules. So this is in this console, it's already built in. Uh, BPY, BPY.data, BPY.OBS, OPS, and all these. I think we're actually okay just to import BPY. So we need to import BPY, and because we're referencing .OPS afterwards, it's almost as if we're kind of doing this. It, it's a little bit different, uh, but it will still do the thing that we're doing. So BPY.OBS.mesh.primitiveAppCube. Uh, we can actually hit run script and boom our cube just it just appeared and so right now this is the basics of scripting everything that you'll do from this point forward will 
probably stem off this. There's a couple of the other things that I want to show right now as well. First off, to make things a little bit easier in the script editor, it's nice to have colors. It, it just is with a lot of things. So let's do that. You can see the blue ones are our inputs. So we can change these inputs to anything that we'd like. Uh, if we want to move the cube over, we can change these values. And it's actually pretty easy in Blender because everything's labeled with a pretty good name. I've worked with Maya, and sometimes some of their naming conventions are a little bit harder to understand what's going on, but that's okay. It's probably more complicated. But let's also now do another one. Let's hit Shift A, add mesh, and let's do a UV sphere. You can see down here, it adds it. I'm going to A to deselect everything because I might have had one selected up here. I'm going to hit Control C, copy, and paste. And I'm going to run this. And you can actually see that it did create it in here, but we have another issue as well. If I select this cube and I move it, it's created the cube on top of another cube. Uh, let's fix this. So to do that, to do that, I'm going to hit A while in the viewport, while my mouse is in the viewport, and I'll select everything. That is also a command. It's to select all. So I'm going to I'm going to select just that command and hit Control C and then I'm going to paste it at the top. And so this is now going to select everything before. And I'm also going to run just a delete command. So I'm just going to hit X for delete and it will put in a, a delete command right here. And then just go ahead and deselect everything and oops, select the delete, copy it, and I'm going to paste it. Oh, not there. And then now I'm going to run this. Now you can see it also got rid of my camera, which I guess is okay for right now in this tutorial. We can talk about that in another one. But now if I move my cube, it is the only cube because what has essentially been done is I've selected everything, I've deleted it, and then I've added a cube, and then I've added a sphere. Now one last thing, just to get into a little bit of a little bit of these, let's just change the location of this. And we can just pick any of these numbers. I'm going to change this one and maybe to 5 and hit run script. I can see that it has moved the original sphere just 5 units to, uh, in this perspective, to the right. So I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope there's some things that you've learned. It's pretty basic, and I, I just really hope that this is a way, a way to get into it. And I just dive into it now. Uh, good luck, and I hope to see you again in another tutorial.